just go through these one more time. Remember, um, the, the key features here in word recognition, pre-alphabetic, the student is not using the alphabetical principle yet. They're not reading. It's all pictures, okay, and cues. Partial alphabetic, um, they're using the pictures still, and maybe maybe the beginning of a letter, maybe, maybe just the C in cat to recognize that it's cat. It's very basic stuff, okay? Fully alphabetic. Now they're using the alphabetical principle. Now they're they're taking the the a, a word, a CVC word, right? Like cat, and they're matching up those sounds, uh, the, the letters with sounds to decode the word cat. So the alphabetical principle, we see that type of you know basic phonics, letter sound correspondence. Uh, and, and we're going to start to see basic encoding. The encoding is going to be more inventive spelling, okay, where they're matching up what they hear with those predictable um, phonetic, uh, phonetic patterns. So, so you're going to be like, I hear a K, I'm going to put C, okay, or K, depending on what they're matching up with the K sound, okay? So uh, if, like if a student was doing phonetic spelling for cat, they may spell the word cat. But right now we're just doing reading. So let's just stick with reading right now. Fully alphabetic is, means they're using the alphabetical principle to start to decode basic decodable words, right? So they use a decodable text. Consolidated alphabetical uh, phase. Now this is when they're doing more advanced stuff. They're able to use a variety of rules, phonics rules to decode words. So they're decoding words like sheep and car and street, right? And they may have a little bit of difficulty here and there, but for the most part, they, they've learned that this is a constant diagraph and that's a vowel diagraph and that's our control and this is a cluster, right? And, and move has got a vowel constant magic E. So they've acquired a lot of these skills. They may still be working on it and they may still make mistakes, but for the most part, they're able to uh, read those words and work through those words using their 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 background in phonics and letter sound correspondence now after that stage is the automatic phase and what that means is they have automaticity so when they come across a word like sheep car street move they don't need to use phonics anymore they recognize it without with with no effort so they're at this stage here the automatic phase they're at word the word recognition stage where they can see a word and recognize its pronunciation immediately without doing any effort. So it's unconsciously, sheep, car, street, right? Now, the open response case studies where you have maybe a third grader, right? They're not at that stage yet. So they might come across a word like sheep and be like sh, eep, sheep, or street. They might be like stra, eep, street. So they're not quite there yet. So the consolidated phase is when we kind of see uh, that phonics being used to, de to decode words, but it's not quite automatic yet, okay? All right, team, I wanted to throw in this section so you get to review these stages before automaticity. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next section, okay?